everybody, Wonky Puppy here bringing you another Let's Play video inside of Stardew Valley. Today is the 8th of fall in our Completionist Farm, year one. Uh, let's start the day off like we always do by checking the weather. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Okie dokie, well that doesn't really mean anything to us. Uh, and our fortune. Ah, oh, yes, I hear the spirits whispering something to me. Oh, the spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Okay, so we have the worst luck. Fantastic. Let's check out Living Off the Land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now, listen up. If you're a farmer in a small town, it's likely you'll be invited to create a Grange display at some point. Typically, a Grange display consists of nine items that best showcase your talent. Shoot for high-quality, high-value items and make sure to have a variety as well. Fish, minerals, artisan goods, fruit, and vegetables are all good to have. Cool. Good to know. Um, yeah, so I think I started doing a little bit of prep for the Grange display. And, oh, yeah, the Crop Fairy came. I forgot all about that. Oh, that's so exciting. I also have three apples. Yay! Oh, it's such a good day. I'm so happy. Oh, look at all these great crops. Oh, it's so great. I got some pumpkins. Look at all these pumpkins. Oh, ooh, and I spot cranberries. Oh, and blackberries. Yeah. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff to do today. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's a good day. Let's get all these cranberries. Um. Oh, and since it's blackberry season, I actually probably uh, I'm going to go spend a little bit of time uh, gathering blackberries today. That'd be a really good thing to do, especially since we don't have any uh, luck on our side. So, <laughs> yeah, that would be a good thing to do. Um, oh man, I'm so happy. Oh, and they're all like really good quality pumpkins, too. Did I get any normal? I didn't get a single normal quality pumpkin. That's insane. They're all silver and gold quality. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's a good day. Uh, let's take those and those and check the mail. Please, can I check the mail? <laughs> Uh, hello, it's blackberry season right now. The bushes are full of them. I want to pick some, but I lost my basket. Can you help? Linus. Yes, we can. I know exactly where your basket is, Linus. Uh, so we can do that. Uh, let's get rid of these. Oh, actually, let's keep one gold quality sunflower for the Grange display. And we should probably plant these other two seeds. I, I keep, um, like, the multiplayer effect is going down on the sunflowers. I keep getting fewer and fewer sunflowers. But that's okay, because I, I only bought a few initially, and um, I still got all these things going. I think we already put a eggplant in the community center, didn't we? Let's see. Uh, fall crops. Yes, we did. So we don't need to keep any eggplants. We can we can toss them all. I also need to keep any cranberries. There's not really any point in, um, in, in keeping uh, cranberries. To, to like make artisan goods out of them because the way you get a lot of money out of cranberries is you get a high volume of them and um, you, you don't get the same kind of multiplier effect for artisan goods. You just get kind of the, the base upgrade for each individual one. So it's better to use high value crops for artisan goods. Um, yeah, just my little tip for y'all. <laughs> uh, I'm going to throw all these pumpkins in here because we need to start making some money back. We're keeping one... I'll keep three. I'll put one. Oh, man, I should have kept one of the silver ones for the community center, but that's fine. Um, and sold an extra gold pumpkin. I'm keeping one gold quality pumpkin for the community center, and then I'll put two in here. One can be for the Grange display, and then maybe I'll keep one for, like, an Abigail present or a random present. that some, Somebody's going to need a pumpkin, I'm sure, at some point. I didn't really need to keep a gold quality one for that, though. Man, I should have sold all those. Uh, I didn't do that right, but oh well. Um, yeah, you live and learn. Let's see, I have, okay, so I have a gold quality vegetable in here right now for this, and I'm going to swap it out for this, because this is higher higher value of a vegetable. And I think I have a gold quality flower in there too, right? Um, no, I don't have a flower, do I? Ah, I don't. Okay, so that's a good one to put in here, I guess. Oh, I think maybe it was the sweet peas. So let me, let me put this in here as our flower. I got to take something else out though. Um, we'll take the, the trash. We don't need to keep trash. Put that in there for that. Okay, cool. Because that will be a good thing to have. Uh, so we'll sell you. And... I guess we'll sell the trash. There's no reason to keep it. Now let's put this copper up, get this other copper, and then go take care of our animals. And then probably go get a few more seeds, I guess. Let's pick up these blackberries while we're at it, too. 
because um, we keep running out of energy replenishing items. So I do want to scavenge for some blackberries. That would actually be a pretty good thing to do for us. Um, oh, our pig's grown up. Yay. Oh, please give me a truffle today, pig. That would just be perfect. Man, we're just getting so much good news today. I love it. Oh, oh truffle. <laughs> we got a truffle too. Ah, and we got goat's milk. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's a good day. <laughs> All right, so there's our white chicken down here. We got a little baby duck running around somewhere, too. Oh, there he is. Hello, baby duck. Quackers! <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Um, let's check out our eggs. And oh, we got a we got a large brown egg, too. We didn't get a, a large white egg yet. Oh, man. We got so many things to take. To, to, uh, so many things that I've been working so long on trying to get. We're finally starting to get, like, all on the same day. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, ah, it just makes me so happy. I'm just grinning ear to ear like a fool. <laughs> you guys would be very, uh, very entertained if you could see that. But uh, I am so happy today. <laughs> this is really good. This is a great episode so far. Hopefully I can keep that up. <laughs> uh, okay, so I don't think I can keep going down, can I? Yes, I can. Uh, let's get these blackberries over here. I don't really know what else I'm going to use my energy for today, so I might as well just chop this hardwood along right here. Just like that. And, uh, oh, we got another forageable down there. Looks like those little chantrail mushrooms. They're actually pretty good. Um, I probably should start keeping some mushrooms for just, like, the life elixir and things like that. But I'm just not too bothered with it right at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> probably should be, but oh well. I'm really hyper-focused on the community center. There are other things that we're going to have to worry about very soon for the completionist farm. That's all stuff we can worry about in year two, you know? Just worry about that in year two. Uh, there we go. And, um, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to run right over to the community center and then just donate all of the stuff that we got <laughs> uh, for the community center. Because we have a ton of stuff for the community center all, all of a sudden. It's great. I can't believe it. And we got some artisan goods to sell, and oh yeah, you can start the egg machines and or the mayonnaise machines and uh, all that. Um, now, let's see. We got some goat's milk. I should have some regular milk. Yeah, right there. No, don't drink it. Put it in there. What are you thinking? Um, let's see. Let's sell the mushrooms and the mayonnaise and the cheese. And let's put all this other stuff away that I don't need to carry around with me. Um, let's see. I don't need to carry around my copper. I don't need to carry around my hardwood. And nor these cookies or spring onions, but I don't really know where I'm going to put them either. Ah, they can go here. Perfect. Cookie, spring onion. A little bit of stone that I don't need to carry around either. Uh, I'm going to put the blackberries up here, though. That'll be good. That's where I will start to keep my food. Uh, I'll put the bamboo pole, the milk pail in there, but I'll just put all of the stuff in here because we don't need any of it. Let's just organize that right quick. Uh, why did you stay down there? What's wrong with you? We have four things to put into the community center today. That's insane. That's so crazy. Uh, let me also grab a present for Abigail and we'll stop by and give that to her on our way. We have a lot of amethyst. I don't even know that I need to keep any pumpkins for her, uh, but I should pick up some more pumpkin seeds, I think. There we go. Oh, and we got oak resin. Uh, awesome. So um, I don't think I need any more oak resin for the community center, but I do need it to build some more kegs. And uh, it would be really good to start some wine because I do need to make some wine for one of the bundles. Oh, look, a hazelnut. Uh, okay, I was hoping maybe the maple syrup was not up there, but it wasn't. Uh, but, oh, while I'm up here as well. Oh, there were two gold quality hazelnuts. That's good. So there's also some recipes that require hazelnuts. I might hang on to a few of those. Here is Linus's basket, by the way. So let's grab this while we're right here. You found the berry basket. So we're going to take that to Linus. Yeah, so on our way around foraging, we'll uh, drop that off with Linus. And that'll get us some bonus friend points and I think a little bit of money. I think he actually pays you. I don't know where he gets money from, but uh, yeah, I think he actually does pay you something for it. Um, man, this is crazy. I'm so happy. We have so many good things. So many good things. Hey, Linus. Some of the townsfolk are wary of strangers. You'll have to win their trust before they open up to you. Fine. Just be persistent. You'll get through to them. Or just bribe them, apparently, is how this town works. Just give them lots and lots of gifts. 
Looking to dissect purple mushroom, please deliver to Demetrius at 24 Mountain Road. 750G on delivery. Demetrius will be pleased. That's actually a good amount of gold for a purple mushroom. If I find one, I'll bring it to you for sure. I don't know how likely it is I find one, though. It's Farmer Wonky Puppy. Let's go steal your daughter's heart. Where is she? Where is she? Is she in the kitchen? Someone's in the kitchen with nobody. Uh, I don't know where she is, then. Um, hmm. Well, we'll try to track her down. <laughs> uh, oh, um, yeah, let's get, like, maybe 20-ish pumpkins. And then I need to get some amaranth seeds for Marnie. Let's do, let's just do eight sprinklers worth, because I don't think this is the most profitable thing in the world. Um... I might go ahead and grow a fairy seed so I can do um, a fairy rose honey thing. What's it called? Bee houses. That's definitely a good thing to do at some point. And then let's just buy some more pumpkin seeds. Let's just do like 50 pumpkins. Like that. Yeah. Um, And then I'll, uh, yeah. I'll get those going again. So we do round two of pumpkins. Oh, it's exciting. Um, okay, so now let's... Oh, there's some blackberries up there. Let's get them. Done. Cool. Let's go up here. And... Go to this section. Right up here. Uh, animal bundle. So we got a... Big ol' egg to throw in here. We should be getting the white egg at any moment, right? Because the brown one just happened. We got those chickens at the same time. So we should be getting a white egg any day. And then the duck egg. We should get a duck egg as soon as that duck grows up. We don't have to wait for it to become happy or anything. It just to grow up. So it should just be a few days. Because they grow pretty fast, I believe. Um, yeah, and then this one's done. And then fall crops. We got the last one for this. We are so amazingly close to getting this greenhouse. I'm so excited. So excited. Uh, what do we get for the reward? A bee house. Perfect. I was just saying, I need to grow some, I need to make some bee houses. Uh, so that's that's perfect. Um, so we did that. And what else do we got? We got some stuff for the bulletin board. Oh, man. This is going to be a really good day. I'm, I'm just so happy. <laughs> All right. We got the truffle. The one I was really worried about tripping me up. Um, and Maki Roll. I think we've already got the recipe for Maki Roll, if I remember correctly. Uh, I stowed away some seaweed. And we just need any fish and rice to finish that. And we need to upgrade our house. So we need a, we need the house that has the kitchen in order to complete this one. No big deal. Fodder Bottle. We've got your three apples now. Lady Marty. Bundle complete! Oh, it's so exciting! Uh, that was our first one from the bulletin board, too. Enchanter's bundle. Okay, so we need a rabbit's foot and a bottle of wine. So, um, yeah, we just we just need to make a bottle of wine uh, and find a rabbit's foot. Uh, red cabbage. Got to check the traveling merchant. It's the only way I'm going to get that one. And then duck feather. The duck will eventually drop a feather, hopefully, once it becomes happy. And uh, the nautilus shell. I can only get that in the winter. And then that's it. Oh, man, it's so close. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, okay. So now let us wander about and collect blackberries. Hopefully we'll stumble across Abigail at some point. That would be nice. Ooh, look at all these blackberries. And hazelnuts, nice. Not... I'm not upset about that. Let's cut, cut down the tree as we're walking around, too. I should have been doing that all along, but I didn't think about it. Because um, then they'll just immediately start to grow back, and we'll get a little bit of wood. And we gotta, we're gotta, we going to have to get a whole bunch of wood in order to do the next upgrade of the coop. Because I think we're just about out of wood altogether. Uh, here's Sebastian. I don't have a gift for you, Sebastian. But <clears throat> it is a rare... Oh, we got three blackberries out of that one. So, it's the big harvest season, isn't it? Yeah... I got pumpkins. It's nice. Um, then we got Linus. My basket. Thank you. This means a lot to me. You're welcome, bro. Oh, we got three from that one, too. 
Ooh, it's so exciting. Got three from that one. I must have leveled up foraging because I'm getting three from like all of them now. Oh, uh, that was just a little bit of mud. That's not exciting. And it looks like there's only one more tree down here to, to grow up, so that's pretty good. Uh, it does take a long time for them to grow up, though. What I'll probably do is do another row, or at least some more trees somewhere uh, around here. And then I'll probably come up here and plant a whole bunch more tree just to get them going. Um, so that I've got another place to come to cut down trees. Uh, oh, there's a plum. I'm pretty sure I finished the fall foraging bundle, though. You never know with these games, but I think I'm pretty sure I did. Like, it would be silly if I hadn't. Just chop all this down because it looks bad. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah! Just needs a little bit of grooming up here. Alright, and where's my axe? There it is. Ah, cool. And there we go. Oh, a book! Who cares? <laughs> you found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. Uh, cool. <clears throat> so we got two from that one. Let's just get rid of all this debris because the debris does spread. So if you get rid of it, <clears throat> you have less overall, which is nice. Excuse me. Sorry, my throat crazy. One sec. Ah, all right. Sip of coffee. Feeling a little bit better. I don't know what's going on with me today. Allergies, I'm sure. Okie dokie. Oh, it's starting to get late, but I want blackberries. Uh, all right, no trees to chop down here, but plenty of blackberries to pick. Let's get them. We're going to be set for life on blackberries. Just by one day of run running through and getting all this stuff. That's awesome. Um, and it was really cool to get a heater, too, because that means that's one less I have to buy. Um, and if you don't know, uh, your animals need a heater in the winter so you just plop it down in there like that and it doesn't do anything in any other season but in the winter it will um it'll pump like the the things do in the game that are working on things and um yeah that basically just means that it's keeping them warm they'll become unhappy if they don't have a heater in winter so it is important to have it for sure Alrighty, and let's just go through I should have enough time to do one pass through the forest down here and get a whole bunch of berries and maybe chop down some trees. Yeah, there's some trees. Let's see. Let's do... Oh, is there something there? Oh, a bush with blackberries. Lots of blackberries. It's exciting. All these blackberries. We're already up to 87 blackberries. That was more than the salmon berries. That was more than a total of salmon berries, I think. And um, we spent days getting those salmon berries. We, we went scoured the entire map like four days in a row. And <laughs> we didn't get this many. Just because we're getting so many berries per bush now. Because our foraging skill is so much better. It's amazing how much easier the game gets as you, as you progress. I love it. But you definitely have to work for it initially. <laughs> it's like all your work pays off. It's nice. It's a good feeling. It's a great feeling. <laughs> There's another tree over here. And there's a bunch of trees that are ready to grow up. So that's also a good thing. Um, for being able to get more uh, stuff later. More trees later. More wood. So we're definitely going to need lots and lots of wood. Cool. Uh, any more blackberries? Oh yeah, tons. Tons more blackberries. I wonder how much wood we're up to. I'm going to move my inventory around, put my wood up here so I can see that count. So I think we need like either 450 or 500 wood to do the last upgrade on the coop. And I think we need, I think we need wood for the upgrade of the house too. Maybe, maybe not. I can't remember. It might just be 10,000 gold, but I think you need to give her some wood too in order to get it done. And we need wood for the bee houses and we need wood for the, for the, the barrels. What is it? The, um, uh, what's it called? The... Is it just barrels? Kegs. That's what I'm thinking of. Kegs. We need wood for the kegs. There's all these kinds... There's so many things we need wood for. Which is just really annoying, but, um... Yeah. <laughs> we just have to keep getting it. Uh, whenever it becomes available. And, um... 
whenever the trees are fully grown down here, I like to make sure I go ahead and cut them so they can start regrowing, just so that things are constantly moving and progressing. This is just idle wood sitting here. No reason for that. No reason at all. Oh, it's already 11 o'clock. I gotta keep an eye on the time. All right, let's stop chopping down trees and just get some berries for now. Let's just finish this pass down here. There we go, there we go. Be nice to get a horse. <laughs> Um, I think we don't have the money horse yet, but we do have enough hardwood, which is normally the limiting factor on, uh, on getting a horse. Alrighty, let's make our way back to the farm now, because it's getting to midnight. And as much as I love these berries and all the trees and everything, I also don't want to be caught out too late and then lose half my energy bar tomorrow. As I'm saying that, I'm like, ooh, berries, 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 berries. <laughs> uh, there we go. Ooh, it's 12, 10. Okay, let's go. Gotta get serious about going now. <laughs> uh, cool. Man, what an awesome day. Oh, I didn't plant anything. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, I can do that real quick, though. At least get these pumpkins in the ground, because they take the longest. That's my priorities to get these pins in where, where I've got the fertilizer and everything and the watered space just so I don't lose that. And then can plant the rest here in a bit. I think there might be another spot up here. Oh, it's one. I gotta go. Is this not plantable? Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I wanna limit my damage. Okay, yes, go to sleep for the night. I got really distracted at the end there, but it was a really good day. Uh, we got level eight foraging. Nice. Okay, so we did level up in foraging, and that's why the wild berries started giving us more stuff. That's really cool to see that. Um, so we got plus one axe proficiency. We got plus one wild berry harvesting and a new crafting recipe for the farm warp totem. So that's really awesome. How much gold did we get, though? Let's see. We got... 15,000 gold from the sunflowers, eggplants, cranberries, pomegranates, and pumpkins. So that's really nice. Uh, we have some mushrooms. Nothing for the trash. So overall, 15,7. That is really, really good. Really happy with that. Um, so far, it's an awesome fall. <laughs> that crop fairy was amazing. Uh, yeah, so let's keep going into do day two. This is going to be a double episode because it's our Saturday upload. All right, and let's go in and check the weather. Welcome to Kosu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. Looks like a storm is approaching. <gasps> Yay! Thunder and lightning is expected. Awesome. So we're going to have rain. We can actually catch the fish that we're missing. I'm so excited about that. Uh, let's check our fortune. Oh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge of the future. The spirits feel very... Feel, feel, feel very neutral. Feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Okay, so... No real luck one way or the other, just normalness. <laughs> uh, let us see what's in the mail. Come by the shop and check out the new rods I'm selling. They're the best money can buy, and you can customize them with different kinds of tackle. Hope to see you soon. Okay, so now the Iridium Rod's available. That's really cool. Uh, dear Wonky Puppy, one week from today we are holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. It's the biggest event of the year, drawing people from all across the country to our humble town. If you'd like, you can uh, set up a Grange display for the event. Just bring up the nine items that best showcase your talents. You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. The fair starts at 9am. Don't miss it. Okay, cool. So that's neato. Uh, I'm going to sell... I'm just going to sell these hazelnuts. I don't want to keep them. I should, but eh, whatever. Uh, we'll sell the wild plums. We'll sell the common mushroom. Don't really want any of that. Uh, okay, so the other thing I would need to get done today is I need to get these seeds that I bought planted so that they get into the ground. And then what I want to do is spend a little bit of time. Uh, where am I? Okay, let's see if I can hoe this little crop right here. Will this, will this hoe? No, I can't do that. Can any of these, any of these open? Oh, this one is. Oh, this one is right here, and it still has fertilizer. Let's put our fairy rose right here, and then put the uh, bee house in its range, like right here, right there. Can I not put it on the? Oh, that should be close enough. I believe that's close enough. Oh, we got a bunch of trees forming down here too, which I kind of want to leave 
so I can come chop them down later and get a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm starting to spread, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's uh, set up the other. Oh, we got corn. Let's set up the other side of the farm. No, don't eat the corn. Uh, let's set up the other side of the farm to grow the rest of the seeds that I have. Uh, let's toss some stuff that I don't need to keep. I'm just going to sell the apple and the pomegranate for now. And the silver quality corn. And the corn for oil making. Throw that in there. And then let's just get rid of all the other stuff that I don't need to keep. Um, corn, you can go in there. Uh, mud doesn't go in there. Seeds don't go in there. Uh, oak resin does. Sap does? I don't remember putting sap in here, but that's fine. It's in here now. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not going to overthink it. And you go in there. You have 107 pine cones. That's just silly. That's just a silly amount of pine cones. Um, cool. There we go. Nice. And you go in there. I feel good about everything else. No, wood. That's right. Okay, let's get these artisan goods. Oh, where's our milk pail? I put it somewhere, didn't I? I put it in one of these? Yeah, I put it in here. Let's grab that. And go take care of our animals. Hello, animals. Uh, you have milk, but you won't have milk today. And there's my piggo. Here's quackers. And we got chickens. And come on, large white egg. Nope, no large egg today. That stinks. Oh, well. Maybe tomorrow. There might be a truffle in here that I can't see, too. I need to make an oil maker. There's all kinds of stuff I need to make. Uh, okay, let's do this. Ooh, this is going to be a gold quality cheese. That'll be nice. And I'm um, going to put the bucket back in here because I don't really need to carry it around with me and we'll sell these other artisan goods and then we'll go do what I said I was going to do and plant these other seeds so we got 38 which is a weird number but I guess 39 uh, so we need to clear and um, put fertilizer down for five of those sprinklers down there where's the fertilizer hmm I put the fertilizer in here. Yes, I did. Got it. Cool. So we got plenty of fertilizer. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five. We have that exactly. So that's actually pretty cool uh, how that worked out. Let's start hoeing. And this would be a lot easier if I had an upgraded hoe. Uh, but I don't have an upgraded anything quite yet. That's that's fine. Again, just trying to conserve my monies and my resources. Oh, purple mushroom. Didn't somebody want a purple mushroom? I think so. I think we have a quest for that right now. Uh, so let me get this done. Then I'll go get the purple mushroom. Figure out who wants it and get a little bit of extra gold. And uh, relationship points with that person. It might be Demetrius. That sounds like something Demetrius would ask for. I mean, I think it's random. I think people can ask for on any kind of thing, but um, if I'm, I'm just, I just think it's Demetrius. I don't have a good reason why, but I kind of remember it being Demetrius. I'm just not confident of that. All right, got that done. Um, now let's do all of this side pumpkins. I think we'll have a little bit of a gap on the edge, and then I'll do this sprinkler down there as amaranth. And I am going to need to get a scarecrow down here, aren't I? Oops, that's going to bother me. Ugh, that's ugly. Oh, well, it is what it is. And then that there. Oh, well, it's a little weird, but... Oh, we have an extra one. Where did I miss... Oh, man, I really screwed this up, didn't I? Ugh, that is ugly. That is so ugly. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Uh, all right, purple. Oh, we got two purple mushrooms. That's really cool. Ooh, all the berries. Give me all the berries. I didn't grab my watering can, so let's grab that real quick. Oh, let me check this quest. It was, yeah, Demetrius. I got it right. Hooray! Um. Uh, okay. Where is 
my watering can. Am I just missing it? Am I being stupid? Oh, there it was. I saw it like after <laughs> I clicked out of it. <laughs> okay, got the watering can. Um, let's fill it up. And let's go water our new crops. I'm, I'm kind of excited to have this expansion of the farm too. It's going to be real cool. Right there, there, there. la di da di da Watering my lovelies. <laughs> Lots more pumpkins and stuffs. This is about the size of my original farm, isn't it? If you think about it. It's good stuff. And we, we're doing a little bit more amaranth than we actually need to do. Um, so the other thing I want to do after I get this watered is I want to take a look at the stuff that I have set up for the grange display. And um, see what else I need to think about putting in there. So I think I'm, I think I have a I've got good progress made on like the diversity of items that I need to do, but I don't think I have everything yet. And um, oh, that sounds like a truffle was just found. Um, so let's take a look. Did I put it in here? No, I didn't. Uh, but I'm gonna throw my watering can in there. That's a forage item. That's a forage item. Uh, so we'll throw this back in there. And there is some mud in here. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to leave those uh, artisan goods for tomorrow. All right, so we've got we've got lined up a hot pepper, which is a fruit, gold quality. Um, a diamond, which is a mineral. Battery is a resource. Pink cake cooking. Tiger trout fish. Ornamental fan is an artifact. Cave carrots, forage. Then we have vegetable and flowers. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we do have everything we need so now we just need to look at upgrading the quality or the value of the items so vegetable gold quality pumpkin that's pretty much going to be top notch um gold quality flower i don't think i'm gonna be able to top a sunflower at the moment like a fairy rose would be ideal but i don't think i'll have enough time to get a fairy rose um cave carrot isn't a great forage item so let me swap that out with yeah this would be a better forage item for sure uh much higher quality if we can get a gold one that would be even better uh, ornamental fan. I mean, that's fine. I don't. Oh, I don't have an artisan good. I need to swap that out for an artisan good. That's what I need to do. So I don't want to use an artifact, to be honest. I'd rather use an artisan good. Uh, we're going to use this cheese for now that I just got. Now that I think about it, because that's going to be a gold quality cheese, and that's a good cheese. Uh, I do want to swap that out for something better. So if our juice gets done at the top first, then maybe I'll do that. I don't remember what kind of juice it is. Hopefully it's good quality juice. Uh, but if it's not, then I'll swap that out again. All right, so gold quality cheese isn't bad. If I can get a gold quality goat cheese, that would be even better. If I can get a really high quality wine or preserves item, that might be even better too. So I just got to take a look at that. Um, I'm really happy with the diamond for the mineral and the battery for the resource pack. Pink cake's good for cooking. I don't really know what else I would put in there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's got the highest, I think, energy and health. So that's probably really good. Uh, hot pepper for the fruit isn't the best, but it is gold quality. So that's one I can look at replacing. And the tiger trout is another one I can look at replacing if I can get a higher quality one. Um, but overall, it's actually not doing too bad. Uh, it's, it's better than I thought I had done, uh, for sure. So let's just sell these things because we don't really need them. And, oh, I can also sell the... Chanterelle, Chanterelle? I don't know how to say that. Uh, and yeah, let's just put this purple mushroom up here and put this amethyst up here. And we need to go give those to people pretty quickly because it's already 2 o'clock. Oh, it's got some blackberries. Lots of blackberries. Oh, I love it so much. It's amazing. <sighs> Anybody up here? Hello. Oh, uh, maple syrup. Nice. Let's grab that. <gasps> oh, there's uh, Abigail. Very nice. Here's your gift. I seriously love this. You're the best, wonky puppy. I may fight with my parents a lot, but I know they're just looking out for me. They're doing that. They're best. They're doing what they think is best. I don't know what I'm saying this to you. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, let's check the calendar, too, because I think her birthday is coming up. And it'd be really good to give her a nice birthday present, which can be an amethyst on her birthday. And I think we get a bonus day of gifting on her birthday, too. Like, we can do two normal gifts throughout the week, and then we can give her a birthday gift, too. Which is great, because we can get a lot of relationship points. Yes, it's coming up on Saturday, so we absolutely can't forget that. Hello, it's Robin. Can someone please bring me 30 pieces of stone? They need to be fresh. That means gathered today. Thanks. 240 gold. Um, We could... I don't think I'm going to, but we could. <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, I don't have anything for the community center, which is fine. Because um, we had so much stuff last time. I was so excited about that. Let's go up to see Demetrius and drop off this mushroom and get a nice payday. There's nobody here. There is literally nobody here. Where is everybody? This place is abandoned. <laughs> is Sebastian home? No, there is nobody in this. There's nobody in this house. What is that? How, when does that happen? So weird. Um, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, oh, she's down on blackberries. Three more. Oh, that's amazing how many blackberries we got. Let's give this to this guy. Hello, wonky puppy. You saw the ad I posted. It looks perfect. Here's a little something for your trouble. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab that. 750 gold. Love it. And, um, yeah, let's pick some more blackberries. And yeah, that's probably actually a good thing to do. Probably, um, let's run around. Let's go back down to the farm and cut down some more trees and get some more blackberries. That would make me a happy little clam. And more blackberries. Oh, and that tree grew up overnight, too. So let's chop that down. Can't, <laughs> can't let that happen. No, no thriving in my world, trees. <laughs> Uh, cause I don't think we finished clearing all the trees from the forest yet, and most of the blackberry bushes should have more blackberries to give us. Um, I'll hear a ba Any mushrooms up here? Yeah, we got some mushrooms. No good mushrooms, but some mushrooms. Do I have any fruit planted? Like high value fruit? Oh, oh yeah, there's a truffle. I'm just gonna sell that today. Um, because I need to sell it for the completionist goals. But we'll leave that for now. Are these done? Oh, artichoke! Oh, that's neat. I think that's supposed to be a year two crop. I think I got that through mixed seeds, maybe? Um, yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get that yet. <laughs> that's kind of cool. What are they? Vegetable? Is that what they're considered? Vegetable. Yeah. Um, cool. Nice. <laughs> Uh, cool. I don't know what else to say about that. That's interesting. I really didn't expect to get artichokes. But now I'm going to get some berries. Lots and lots of blackberries. Crazy amount of blackberries. Uh, okay, we got several trees grew up <laughs> since yesterday. So that's good. Um, there's some more trees right here that are on their final stage before growing up. So we might even have more tomorrow. We're going to be getting close on the amount of wood we need, too, I think. Which would be really great for our next coop upgrade. We definitely have enough gold now, so that's great. Um, we should have enough stone, I believe, too. And if not, I can always go and get stone relatively easily in the lower parts of the mine. Uh, it takes some energy, but it's not hard. I'll just look for those really big stones. Break them up. Um, what else we got down here? Any more berries? Looks like these berry bushes aren't replenishing. Uh, there's one that did. Yep, and here's another tree. Hello, Mr. Tree Friend. I'm going to murder you. I know we didn't clear the berry bushes in the bottom right of the map, so we probably need to go and do that too. But we're already over 200 blackberries, so I don't really know how much how many more we need. We're never going to use all these. Well, I'll say that now, but we probably will at some point. This will be great for energy replenishment, especially not having the kitchen at the moment. Um, so you really just have to find or buy any of the items that I want to use for energy replenishment. And you can't get really, really good ones until you start cooking, I don't think. Unless, you, unless you're willing to pay a whole bunch of gold, um, which, you know, I'm not. I'm cheap. Um, 
Yes, yeah, so this is actually really good. So we can just do a whole a high really high volume of mediocre. <laughs> that works. <laughs> I just keep snacking on them, just eat them over and over and over and over. And I'm totally fine with that. We can get some more wood. Got some maple seeds, which is nice. And um, we're getting so many berry bushes. I love it. Or so many uh, berries from these bushes. It's a really great thing. All right, got some of them. Got some of you. And it looks like several of the trees are ready to grow up, but haven't quite gotten there yet. And a lot of them are still in this stage where um, they're still one step away from from booming up. And these guys are these guys will go any day. These ones over here. Cool. Uh, so we are. Oh, we're at 262 berries, which is an insane amount of berries. Love it so much. Uh, let's get this guy right here. And it's 1020. Do I have time to circle through? Probably not. I was going to say, do I have time to circle through and get um, some berries from the town and all that? But no, I don't think I do. I'll go up this way and maybe we'll try to chop the hardwood stumps on our way through just to use up a little bit more energy and and the last bit of time that we have. But I might be cutting it a little close to do that. We shall see. Yeah, it's already 11. <laughs> cutting it really close, but anyway, I'm gonna do it. We'll see. I'm stubborn. I do what I want. There we go. Hit you. We haven't checked the uh, secret farm for forageables in a long time before. Er, Secret farm, the secret woods for forageables in a long time, so we probably should do that too at some point. Let's get you. Perfect. Ooh, and tomorrow's gonna rain so we can get that walleye. That'd be really good. Really, really, really good. Got you. And got you. Nice. Yep, yep, I know, it's midnight. We're working our way over there. Don't calm down, calm down, calm down. Um, I'm gonna leave those mayonnaise for tomorrow. Ooh, we got uh, pickles, pickled corn. Oh, I probably put corn in the thing for. So <laughs> that won't be very high value. Uh, so let's sell that. Let's sell the artichoke. We'll keep one artichoke. Ah, eh, no, we'll sell it. Let's sell the truffle. These guys keep everything else and let's find something else to throw into the pickle machine um let's do one of these melons oh i do have melons i thought i had melons i was looking for melons the other day and couldn't find them no i feel silly they're just right sitting right there just happy as a clam uh is this where i put the maple syrup no see i've got oak resin in this one and i've got the maple syrup in this one. I'm sure I've got pine tar in the last one, right? I just got them all mixed up. Yeah, I got pine tar in the last one. There's just my work, my organization is lacking. I understand that, and I apologize. I just don't have spare wood to create a whole bunch more chests to move everything around. Hello, puppy, and let's go to bed. Yes, let's go to sleep for the night. Did we get anything good? A doubtful. Yeah, no. Uh, we got we got a little bit of stuff. We got four thousand gold from things. That's not bad. Um, yeah, from just little bits and pieces we sold. And some foraging. Not bad. Uh, and then other. The ornament to fan was 300, but that truffle, though. Look at that. 781 gold. And, um, I need to make an oil machine so we can turn that into truffle oil. It'll be worth even more. Alrighty. Well, uh, that does it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, Please leave a like to let me know that. Uh, leave any comments down below with anything that you want to talk about with the series. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with everything going on on the channel. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!